somatic summary report shows the results of the tumor normal data subtraction. A cancer purity of 0.8 means that for every 10 reads from a sequenced cancer sample, 8 were from the tumor, while 2 reads were from normal cells. A ploidy of 2.4 shows that there is genomic instability. The small variance summary shows all of the small changes found. The structural variance summary shows larger changes found, including copy number aberrations and translocations. The circles plot displays the chromosomal data in a circular layout, giving an overview of all the data at a glance and helping to visualize relationships. Starting from the inside of the circle, the circles plot shows translocations represented by red lines through the center of the circle. Segmental duplications are shown by green lines and inversions by green boxes. Large deletions and insertions are indicated with purple boxes and bars. Note that these are large structural variants, not SNVs. Somatic indels per megabase and somatic SNVs per megabase allow highly variant regions to be identified. Copy neutral loss of heterozygosity is shown, as is beta allyl frequency. Next, ploidy, the position along the chromosome, and the chromosome number are shown. And finally, genes harboring variants are called out with non-synonymous variants highlighted in red. If we look at the circles plot from this data, we see translocations between chromosomes 1 and 8 and 7 and 10, three regions of segmental duplication, and a large number of insertions. Moving farther out, we see copy neutral loss of heterozygosity represented by the blue boxes, with much of chromosome 9 being affected. And the ploidy plots show numerous regions of duplication and deletion throughout. In the outer ring, multiple non synonymous variants are highlighted, including ABCB8 on chromosome 7, with the protein change A to G. This mutation has previously been identified in this cell line in a publication in Science in 2007.